Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Kathleen Alcala. I thought I'd make a quick video on, um, process video actually, so it might not be all that quick. Um, I wanted to do something springy and I cut these out, these images out, and it's actually a seed catalog. I thought they were so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So what I did is I got the seed catalog in the mail. Look at like one of these, right? So I just picked out images that I liked and I want to use them for my crafting. There's so many beautiful images to pick. Um, I kind of always gravitate towards the pinks. So let me see if I can find, find one. Like, like that's actually really pretty too. Let me see if I can pull one out and then we can make it from scratch. Okay, so tomorrow's Easter, guys. You prepared, you ready, you celebrating? And if not, that's okay too. Um, sometimes, you know, we're just laying well for certain times of their lives, right? Okay. I think I'm going to pick, ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. But, tea out of the way. I hope I don't drop that. So what I did is I want to use these images. However, I don't like the shiny look that th this magazine has. I'm wondering if it's too dark for you guys to see. I don't have my light right here. Hopefully that's not too bright now. <laughs> I hope you guys can see. Ay, they, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> the lighting. Okay. It doesn't matter how I cut this because I think I really pulled the images I wanted out of there. Okay. So that's going to be the image I'm going to use. So let me trim that up. So if you guys get those catalogs and you're just throwing them away, pull out some pictures of, you know, the flowers that you like. And that way you can make your own little ephemera out of it. So this is shiny. As you guys can probably see, that's probably really shiny right there. This is now. So what I did with this is one, I backed it onto the actual um, cover of that seed magazine just to give it some strength because it's so weak. But what, I don't like the shiny. So I did use this, the clear texture gesso. So this actually will mat it like make it like this see I like that what I discovered when I made this one you don't have to put a whole lot in fact the less you put the better like this one let me show you this one this one I put too much so there's a lot of wrinkles but I don't mind the wrinkles I actually like things that are not pristine I wanted to try to make it look you know I don't know little weathered right so just to show you some of the things i used well, i'm going to set these aside for now so with what i did is i i pulled my images and then i pulled in all of this was in my snippet bag except this this was just floating on my desk <laughs> teasing Anyhow, um, these were just things in a snippet bag that I had. I keep a snippet bag of all my little odds and end pieces, and I want to use them. I, I don't use them. Let's see. Let me show you guys. Hold that thought. Oh, I rolled my bag down. See? Snippet. Look at all that. That's just one bag. I got a lot more. But anyway. So I pulled out the colors I know that I'm going to like, which is automatically going to be the pink tone. So I'm, it out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and back this because it is way too flimsy. I want to try to use some, you know, there's a, okay, I have two different thoughts. Let me show you. So this I use, this is actually an antique. It was a, like a magazine with the ugliest images ever. So I used um, the wording. But I saw one of the pieces of paper that I like. 
floating around here. Hold on. Let me grab it. It's from Jane Memories. So I have this piece left. I thought, boop, that could be real pretty using one of these pieces. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Um, and I think I just found my... Hold on. Where's my stick? I found my glue stick. I'm not lying, you guys. My desk was so messy. And I still messy. <laughs> I still can't find it. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to use. Faithful Fabric Tech. Okay, where'd it go? Image. Image, where'd you go? Okay. And you guys are going it's right there on your left. I think it flew away. Hey, my image went away, guys. Uh -oh. Hello. Hello. Okay, guys. My image must have fallen, flown away. So we're going to use this. <laughs> like how I roll, huh? Okay. So I'm just going to cut that. Clearly, I'm not going to want hands, but I can cover that up, right? Okay, so let's just glue this guy down. And yes, um, it would be better to use a stick of glue because it's not so thick. But this is what I have. Let me see what's the back. Ooh, that's pretty, the back. So I'm just going to lay it down. I kind of moved the, the image around a little bit just to kind of get the glue to move a little bit, but look how, how well that is placed down. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut this out. I'm gonna move that light a little bit, you guys. I'm just really worried that it's too bright for you guys. Hopefully that doesn't make it worse. That's what's hard when you're filming, you don't actually know the quality of the video, what you guys are seeing. Let me see if I can take a peek. I'm blinded, I can't see, so I'm gonna go for it. So. Oh, not very good cut. Uh, okay. And to get rid of the shine, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this. And to be honest, I would, ooh, that's too, going to be too much. I would have used, I've been happy to have used a brush, but I'm in the midst of cleaning and organizing and I haven't gotten to that area yet. So let me just take down the shine on this. Okay, I got to take some of that off. Hold on. I'm going to baby wipe. Baby wipe. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to wipe off some of that excess. Because I just want to take the shine down. The other thing that I actually liked, it kind of made the paper... Um, this paper, this backing is so heavy, it might not do that. But the other images made it kind of like vintagey old paper, kind of wrinkly, and I like that. Okay. So as that is drying, I'm just gonna set it aside. Where should I put it? I'll put it here. And I'm gonna work on the other images that I have. So I did finish this one. What I did with this, I rounded the edge. And I just have this real pretty fabric. So I put the two pieces of fabric here. And then this applique, I just cut it apart and put it here. And isn't that the sweetest button ever? And I thought that would be really nice. I don't know if I'm done with it yet. I thought about putting a paper clip here and so, um, and possibly some more laces. And then you can just slide it in your page. So that's the thought. This one, I want it to be a pocket. So I'm going to probably end up sewing this on, um, but I really love that. I might just put a piece of sh a lace across. I don't know, but that's really pretty. I want to work on this one. I really like that image. Isn't that pretty? It feels so fresh, right? 
Okay. I don't want to make it too heavy because if I'm putting it in a journal, I don't want to make it any thicker than it needs to be. And I'm okay that it's flimsy, especially if I'm going to glue it onto a page. So I'm going to look at some of my selections here. That does not work, but that's okay. So I saw, I thought this was kind of neat, this um, pink. What's it, I can't remember what the heck this is called. I know they use it in the kitchen. <laughs> Cheesecloth, that's it, thank you. Okay. So I didn't know how I wanted to use that, but I kind of like the idea of cheesecloth. Isn't that pretty? What if that was like coming down like a curtain? I kind of like that idea too. Let me cut that. See, I really like that a lot. What would it be like? No, it's too white. I'm just wondering to tie this, what that would look like. So I've been watching um, different fashion things and also historical fashion on Instagram images. Okay, I love how they did that with the clothes. There's so much draping and gathering that I thought, oh my gosh, that would be so pretty to do that somehow in a journal or something. I just really loved how they did that. See, I kind of like that. I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. So I'm going to put a little glue here. I just want to say hi and a shout out to Deborah if you're watching. I got your happy mail and it made me happy. <laughs> Thank you. That was incredibly sweet. And um, she resides in Canada and we've been pen pals. We're going to be going on September or has it already been a year? Time just has, you know what, since this pandemic, I'm telling you, I don't even know anything about time. <laughs> I, I was telling at work that I'd been uh, there in this one position for two years. <laughs> no, I was with a company, I said, for a couple of years. And they're like, no, this lady had a five year anniversary. And I, I started thinking, I think it's the, by virtue that, um, that um, the pandemic occurred and like two years went by without me even having any knowledge of <clears throat> anything going on. That's kind of cute, huh? So anyway, I just wanted to do a shout out and say hi and thank you for the happy mail. That was really incredibly sweet and nice. Okay. And also hello to all the other people that are watching. I don't mean to exclude you. I just happened to get that happy mail and she said she watched my videos and I thought that was really kind of cool. Okay. Now I'm thinking about blue, blue thing, rounding the corners. I kind of like the squareness of it though. I'm going to keep the squareness up. I liked, like this one, I rounded them. I like that. But for this one, I feel like I need to leave that corner. And I know I need to put something here. Maybe these flowers. Ooh, that's cute. Ooh, I like that. You know, I got this other thing. I thought that was adorable. I how that'd be for hanging off. Oh, no. I do like this, however, and this I'm going to keep. 
I do want to consider adding a few other touches. What do you guys think of that? I like it. There's also just a little, ooh, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Can't see it. it. Gets lost there. That's so beautiful though. I believe that came from Sierra. I heard, I can't remember her last name to save my life. You know, guys, you know I'm bad about that kind of stuff anyway, right? That's pretty too. Look at that. I incorporated all of it. What would that be like? Let me see, you guys. If I was to oh, I'm doing it the wrong side. Hold on. Oh, look at how interesting it didn't cut that back piece isn't this pretty ribbon though I love it I like to use it when I can okay I like it the colors match I'm going for it So the last couple of weeks, I have had like this stomach bug. Um, comes and goes, it's the weirdest thing. So I finally saw my doctor about it because you know, when I have to miss work, it's not good. And um, she was telling me that that is going around, that most of her clients are complaining of the same thing. So maybe that in my area, that is what is happening. Um, and I know one of my staff went home really sick. Oh God, he looked horrible. But he had it last week, same thing as me. And then we both had it. And then we had both got it again this week. It's so bizarre. If anyone knew me, they'd think I was lying. <laughs> she just wants time off of work. But then if you really knew me, you'd know me that, that would just stress me out. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I feel a little bit better, but I'm still not myself yet. This is the first time I've been in the craft room um, for a while. So I felt really good over the weekend. Yeah, I felt pretty good. So I don't know what happened. Very strange. Okay. There it is. Simple, simple, easy peasy. And um, I just still need to do Oh, this one is the background that is pretty looking. See how it's still drying and it's making that. I love that. I love the wrinkles in the paper. Let's move that. So what I did is I wanted to also, I used my regular. Whoop, let me show you. You probably can't even see that it's not even visible anymore. Just the gesso. It's just regular gesso. Um, again, I'm using the smallest, smallest, smallest amount. Uh, I want to kind of give it that white look, but not too much. I, I just want little smudges of white. Kind of mutes that background. I don't want to overdo it either. See, I love how it changed that coloring. This is more what I like. Okay. And yes, my fingers get dirty. Sorry, guys. I'm a hands-on crafter. <laughs> So, I don't know if you notice the difference now. See? So, 
I did put that little bit of white. With this one, I'm sort of feeling like the edges need to go cir circular as well. So I might go ahead and chop those up, trim them down. Now, what do I want to do with this one? It's kind of that same color palette. I wonder if that would be like having it just encased in some fabric. I kind of like that idea, it's different. I kind of like it, you guys. It's very different. Look at how that would look. And then I'd put, like, pretty things on the edges. You know what? It's weird. I'm going to try it. <laughs> this looks like it has a little bit of a stain. See right there? I'm not going to worry about it, though. I'm going to try it, guys. Let's just give it a shot. I'm going to try to even that out. Okay, let's put some glue down. I wanted to make them look sort of even, I guess. Okay, I went in quiet mode, didn't I? So tomorrow's Easter. And the sun should be shining tomorrow, but it's not going to be very warm. It's like 60 some degrees tomorrow. With me, I will definitely need a sweater. I could clean really easy. Okay. Let me see how it looked wrapped up. No, that's too much. I kind of want to keep, I want to decorate the, the outside rim. No, that's not what I want. Okay, let's see what else I have. I like the idea of flowers and trim and No. Look how pretty this pink lace is right here. What if I turned it? I need some appliques. That's what I'm actually needing. And I don't have any in my snippets. I have that, but I don't want to bust that up for this. Let's see if I have something else. Okay, guys, this one's stumping me. Probably because I did this weird thing here. <laughs> I have a vision of something that's just not not working. Let me see what this is all about right here. This is pretty. I 
Then I have to do something on each corner. I'm wondering if that was a blow it move on my part. It might have been a blow it on my part. Yes, I think I might have blown it. Let's see, what if I'm... Yeah, I think I could do something, but frankly, I'm kind of not sure what I could do. What can I do? I could do that, but that's kind of weird, right? Let's see what that would look like. Okay, I need to find, I really need some appliques or something because that's just, okay, let's pull in something that's not a um, snippet. My goal was to not use anything but snippets, but that goal looks like it might not be accomplished. I wonder what it'd be like if I just had these on the corner. I'm gonna try that one. It just cut it out. I'm always thinking about not trying to make anything heavy and big because that really is not good when you're making a journal, right? So I'm always trying to think of things in terms of flat. Okay. I'm gonna cut this one off. Even that out a little bit. Okay, guys. Time in and up. I kind of actually like this kind of a thing right here. I'm really bummed about this. I love that piece of fabric. Okay, guys. I just can't do it. <laughs> I got to take it. This is how you live and you learn, right? That was no, no, no bueno. Not happening. So now I just need to fix that. What I kind of like the idea of is maybe having the fabric come here have at just at the end you know what I'm going to try that since the fabric has glue on it let me see what's the worst part I'm going to try that here so let's just give it a shot shall we okay I'm always doing that, aren't I? Just doing this like ruffle thing. I gotta try something new, seriously. Okay. Okay. Regroup. Regroup. Well, oh, that's cute. Something simple. I still like this idea, guys, of making like almost like a hanging, a wall hanging kind of a thing. A little bit different. I'm gonna cut some of this off. Let's see. Get rid of these edges. As long as I don't cut off the actual dangle ball thingy. Uh. So. I was looking at Joanne's um, Tim Holtz because they're having a sale right now. And I looked at the scissors. They were not on sale. <laughs> they were like $30 for a pair of scissors. I said, mm, I think I can wait on that, right? Okay, I want to get it more even to this. I really like this hanging. I'm wondering if it should be the other way. I 
kind of like that, you guys. Different. Okay, I'm going to do it. Put a little dab of glue. Cover up that cut. Rip in the paper. No. So the last couple of weeks, I spent some time organizing, and it's pretty cool. I like the idea of this, like being, um, you know, like at an angle like that. I'm gonna see if I can get that. I wish I had my other glue. I want this real small. Okay, see if I can get this one to stay. Okay, I guess I should put my glasses on, huh? I don't want them even, so I like that. I'm thinking this doesn't really work. Mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. No. That's better. What if I brought it down? I like that. And then one more piece of something here. Dangling would be cute. Let me see what I got. What do I got? No. I think it needs to be sort of lacy, huh? What if I was to snip some of that? And I need a four or a button or something. Something needs to go there. You know what? What about some pretty, ooh, that'd be pretty, huh? And these two colors, aren't they beautiful? Let me use pink, obviously, right? So I know I take too long to make decisions. I, I recognize that. <laughs> I think my sister says she gets bored with the long videos. I said, well, you're supposed to be crafting along with me, not just watching, right? I'm gonna do that. Why not? Why not? Nope, I'm gonna bring it down here. different. Not loving it, but it's different. <laughs> I don't know if I need to cut this smaller. I kind of like them dangling though. These are too big. That's the problem I'm having. Too big. Too big. Let's see if I can make them smaller. That one's pretty small. I think it was this one that's just too big. See that lace underneath the, um, it's just too big. I 
think that looks maybe a little better. <sighs> okay. So. No. Okay, guys, I'm really not loving this. You know, there's projects when you just want to throw them out because you just don't like it. That's this. Really don't like it. Uh, nope, definitely not. No, no. How about that? <laughs> uh, okay, so the moral of this lesson today is think about it before you glue it. <laughs> I need a sip of tea to get through this moment. Okay, I'm going to trim these down. Let's see if that makes me like it any better. Yeah, I do like it a little bit better. More snippet stuff. I don't know what... Maybe it needs something up here. Maybe that's my problem. I'm wondering if I need another flower. Let me cut one down and let me find out. Let me find out. Okay. Let's get rid of the dangle. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what? That. Ta da! That's the ticket. Now to figure out how to get this little doohickey on. So I have the um, this glue. I got my new one because apparently the needle that I used was not the needle it came with, right? And so it corroded my glue. And it's really nasty. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is really not good. So I need to put an order in. Oops, sorry, my dog's got crap on me. Ziki, Ziki, Zeke. <sighs> Anytime he hears it like a truck, he goes berserk. Sorry about that, you guys. Hope it doesn't upset your dogs. Anytime I watch a video and my dogs hear another dog, they get really upset. <laughs> I'm like, it's a TV, it's not real. Okay, if I can get this glue off my fingers. I like that so much better. Still not loving it. I don't know what it needs. Hmm. I wonder if it needs a tassel dangling from down there. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'll try to edit this out. The dogs are going to go berserk. There's a tow truck here. I'm going to put that there. Maybe. It's kind of covering up the pretty flowers if I do that, huh? What if I put it there? Can you guys see that? No, I'm leaving it. That'll be for my snippet. Okay, you guys. I'm not going to keep you any longer. Um, my mojo is, has left the building. <laughs> uh, I still don't think I feel the best, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I'm hoping tomorrow I feel better. So this will be something that will probably never see the light of day. Good learning lesson. That will go away. However, I really like this. Simple. Colors are pretty. I love the flowers here and the colors. Palette matches. And that is really pretty too. I like that. I still feel it needs a little something here on the edges. Which I'm kind of thinking either embossing on the edges which would be really cool or using um, the gesso to um, with a stencil wouldn't that be pretty right there so that's probably something I need to do once I can actually find my stencils this one is going to become a pocket I'm not going to work on it today um, I've run out of steam so I kind of wanted to just say hi and check in with you guys and see how you're all doing 
Um, you guys are in my thoughts and my prayers. I hope everyone's doing well. I know holiday times can be really stressful, so try not to worry. You know, just have a good day. Whether you're by yourself with a, a lot of people, it doesn't really matter. Um, just try to enjoy your day. All right, you guys, I hope you um, can get some um, ideas using your catalogs and a little bit of gesso. All right, take care. Bye-bye.